mankind is constantly creating amazing new inventions. Get involved in rapid technological progress and ensure smoothly running transportation in different regions of the world. America, in the midst of the 19th century, in the Nevada Territory, where until recently only a handful of buffalo grazed, nowadays it's all hustle and bustle. Beyond the Sierra and near the Carson River, gold has been found. There's supposed to be loads of it. All you need to do is dig it up. Anyone who keeps at it hard enough will be richly rewarded. What a splendid opportunity. Welcome to uncharted territory, newcomer. Wanna get rich? Then you're in just the right place. Gold rush fever holds sway in Virginia City. And you, you lucky devil, You've won the mining rights for a promising claim in a poker game at the Red Dog Saloon. Soon, you'll be hauling out gold nuggets as big as a cat's head. Thanks to cleverness and luck at cards, you have a gold mine all your own. The former owner, a gal at the saloon by the name of Susie, who plays a lousy hand at poker, already took care of the groundwork, and a, a practical woman. She left the necessary equipment behind, too. Now all you have to do is to find the mine. Get an overview and find out where the riches lie. Discover the entrance to the tunnel. What a promising claim. Even though only a few boulders have been mined so far, that's no reason to lose heart. You'll just have to dig deeper. You ought to get hold of some solid timber from the nearby forest so that the fine shaft doesn't cave in. The beams will be excellent for stabilizing the tunnel. Build a station where the horse carts can be packed with logs. to the sort of thick-skulled driver which route he should take. be a small depot to park the horse-drawn carts too.
everything's all set. Now, all you have to do is to get hold of a cart to transport the wood. be long before it's possible to dig deeper. Well then, good luck. Not everything that glitters is gold. Maybe your poker partner was sharper than you thought. Despite all the hardship, the mine only brings in a few chunks of silver ore. At best, you ought to get rid of it before it ruins you. Luckily, new greenhorns constantly get stranded in Virginia City, who you can peddle that confounded pit to for good money. So, you got rid of the silver mine for a decent amount. Time to invest this money in a lucrative venture. And there's an excellent opportunity. All the ore from the mine must be transported to the silver mills down by the river. A railroad that takes over the transport would be a promising venture. a few very twisted curves.
under a railroad route that rapidly transports all the ore to the valley. railroad calls for a proper railroad yard. Time to buy a beautiful locomotive together with a few freight cars. Send it on its maiden journey. Or 
transport is picking up speed. With a little luck, it'll make you richer than all the silver in Nevada ever could. First train is rolling down the line. People are dropping everything to cheer your marvel of engineering. Don't pass up the chance to climb aboard. Give them a friendly wave. Let's have a big round of applause. Silver smelting is moving fast and furious. Meanwhile, all sorts of fine ladies and high-class gents get off in Carson City. Make sure they don't ruin their good shoes on the muddy streets. Find out about the needs of your future passengers. services are needed to the same degree everywhere in town.
sure your coaches don't miss any stops. can be hitched up and the coaches can wait. Just a few coaches with horses so that you can get started. Territorial Enterprise reports. A beast is up to no good in the area. According to eyewitnesses, it leaped from tree to tree, was at least 10 feet tall, had a shaggy black pelt, and enormous feet. Ask the reporter what it's all about. The reporter, a certain Mr. Clemens, has revealed his source to you. An old good-for-nothing by the name of Sam Hawkins. He's supposed to be in the saloon in Virginia City. Could be it means buying him a couple of shots of hard liquor before he comes up with the truth. The good man was happy. 
happy to provide information. The monster got a few feet taller with each whiskey you bought him. Word has it that it gobbles up whole cows and picks the remains out of its teeth with a wagon tongue. Our informer thinks it's hanging around near the Ponderosa Ranch, if he's not mistaken. Old Cartwright and his son didn't take too kindly to your visit to the Ponderosa Ranch. Apparently you're not the first to be hot on the monster's heels. The rancher claims that dozens laid siege to their land. Just when he was about to run them off, they hurried away towards Lake where not too long ago there was nothing more than a dreary two-bit town. A magnificent little city now flourishes, thanks to your transportation services. The locals even call it the Miracle of Carson City. More and more people want to try their luck there. Obstacles shouldn't be put in their way. Get into the passenger business. Your tickets will be the hottest item in town. Make sure that the rest of the world is finally connected to Carson City, a veritable boom town. people from all over the world to Carson City.
line from Reno to Carson City, the town built on silver. There's firewood up in Glenbrook that'll get the steam engines in the silverworks puffing real nice. But watch out that you don't cross paths with the Cartwrights from the Ponderosa Ranch. They're not the kind of folks to tangle with. You barely got away from the Cartwright boys. Now get a respectable load of logs down to the valley as fast as possible before the ranchers come back again. set on riding your beautiful railroad. Territorial Enterprise reports. The wild man is dead. His body was committed to the waters of Lake Tahoe, where it will sink to a depth of over 600 feet, be encased motionless in a block of ice, and shrink to the size of a small child due to the high pressure. Well, guess not much can be done about that.
business is doing splendid. A cluster of pathetic shacks has become the swankiest town in the whole West, where you find the most exquisite shops, the best saloons, and the loveliest ladies of ill repute far and wide. Many an opportunity suggests itself to spend those silver dollars you so richly deserved. Your railroad business is the real gold mine in the state of Nevada. The island of Java. Tropical jewel in the midst of the Indian Ocean. Conscientiously administrated by meticulous Dutch bureaucracy. The year is 1870 and the colony is undergoing a transformation. Recently, individuals have been allowed to lease farmland and manage plantations. The fertile land offers ideal conditions for exporting a multitude of colonial goods. Off on the way to an exotic experience. Dutch East Indies. Surely the most exemplary colonial empire under the sun. With luscious fruits and cheap labor in abundance. You act on behalf of the colonial administration. A gifted talent in the art of engineering you have been appointed to modernize the local transport sector. Complete this task to the satisfaction of the Crown. If you do, even the post as governor might be in store for you. Transport is a much sought after service on this scarcely civilized island. Eating draft animals such as oxen is punishable by law. That's why the colonial administration has commissioned you to build a railroad so that the plantation business prospers. The delicious coffee is supposed to be transported from the fertile hinterlands to the facility near town for processing. Anyone set on building wisely and cheaply avoids unnecessary slopes. Perform the necessary surveying work. Build a route from the thriving plantation across treacherous terrain to the processing factory where the coffee fruit is husked. <laughs> 